Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Eema Shri. In today's video, I will show you how to add a people web part in SharePoint Online. Let's do practically. Open your SharePoint site page. This is my SharePoint site page regarding product development. Here, I need to show the team members who are working on the product development. So, I will add the people web part here. Click on the edit page. Click on this plus new icon or add a new web part and search for people web part. People. Select this. This is how to add a people web part to a SharePoint site page. Now I'll add the team members. These all are the team members who are working on this product development. See, for each team members, it is showing their name and their job role also here. See? And it also provides next people to add you. I will provide the title. Bye. Now let's customize this people web part by changing the layouts. By default, small layout will be selected with their name and their job role for each of the team members. Now I'll change to medium size layout. See that each team members will be in the medium size and it is also asking us to add a profile link. Here we can add their uh, LinkedIn URL or we can also provide the mail ID of the each team members. And we can also provide the tagline for each team member. See. Now I will show for only one person. So I will add a profile link. I will provide their mail address. Now. And I will provide the text to display as contact. Then click on the save button. Now I will enter the tagline for this person as developer with factor. So medium size layout will provide us. Add a profile link and we can enter a tagline also. Let me check with large size layout. Each team members will be in the large layout. It is providing us to enter a description. In medium size it was asking us to enter a tagline. But here in large size layout it is asking us to add a description. So we can provide a description for each person. Let me provide one description. Add the description. Analyzing existing programs for modification purposes. This is how the large layout looks like. Based on my requirement, I will change this layout to small. Now I will republish this. See now, this is how the people web part looks like. So when we click on the particular user, it will show the details of them like who the manager is and the content they are working on and their contact details for each team members also it will show see this is how to add a people web part i hope you guys like this video thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel to get more free video tutorials on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you